WABG, the Delta's leading news source. Hello and welcome to the ABC 6 News webcast. Well, hundreds Thursday at the LaFleur County Civic Center for the Strike Force Initiative event. Well, it's an initiative President Obama's administration created to help underprivileged regions and Congressman Benny Thompson, the USDA and Alcorn State University organizing Thursday's event, giving community leaders and citizens from across the Delta an opportunity to seek opportunities and resources to bring to their communities. State representatives from different entities, including Rural Development, Farm Service Agency, Forest Service, and Food and Nutrition Service, helping attendees apply for the different programs, and the Acting Deputy for the USDA Rural Development out of Washington, also there on behalf of President Obama. This is an opportunity for people of the Delta to take advantage of USDA programs. All of the counties qualify, most of the uh, cities and towns qualify, as well as nonprofit organizations. So this is a uh, really a wonderful thing. Alcorn State has been very helpful. Delta Regional Authority, as I said, has been helpful too. So this is our one-stop shop. We can't just move away from one day. How this truly makes a difference is that it's a, a scheduled effort that people make and, and I expect churches, I expect community-based organizations, elected officials, business owners, chambers of commerce to say, hey, I know that these resources are available. How do we make this happen to make some changes in our community? And there were also panel discussions and several workshops held at the event. Well, Greenville's Bobby Henry Memorial Pool will be open this summer. The Greenville City Council voting Tuesday to keep the pool open behind behind the city's pool behind the Buster Brown Community Center. The vote voids an earlier contract with the Hyden Carter Memorial YMCA was to pay the YMCA $16,000 for their use of the pool by Greenville residents. That 16 grand will now return to the Parks Commission and Commission President John Hawkins saying they have the funds to keep the city pool open and to bring it up to federal code. Well, in sports, Gerald Glass doing pretty well in his second career. Last Sunday, named Mississippi Boys Basketball Coach of the Year by the Clarion Ledger after leading his alma mater, Amanda Elzey, to a second consecutive 4A state title. But Glass will cherish the gold ball more than any honor. It's nice. I'm just happy we won the state championship. And uh, being Coach of the Year, man, I, you know, it's a great honor. And I appreciate that honor, man. But, uh, you know, it's all about the kids. And I'm just going to try to keep pushing them and get better. And another big honor for Glass on the horizon. You may remember he'll be inducted into the Mississippi Sports Hall of Fame this summer. Meanwhile, Ole Miss head football coach Hugh Freeze and athletic director Ross Bjork coming to Greenville later this month. The 2013 Rebel Road Trip stops at the Greenville Country Club Thursday, April 25th. A luncheon from 1130 to 1, part of a 12-city and six-day tour for Freeze and Bjork and not limited to just the state of Mississippi. They'll also be in Memphis, New Orleans, Atlanta, even Houston that week. Tickets are available in advance for $15 through the Ole Miss Alumni Association's website. You've been watching the Delta's number one news source.